Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a spot or puzzle. This is Wordle, but there are some obstructions in the grid. That's what those black cells are. We won't find out any information about the letters we put in those positions. So I'm going to start with Asta, because S, T and E are the letters that I want to find out about to start with. And this was the first word that sprang to mind, even though I'm sure there are lots of other words that are more common that have those three letters in the middle. Anyway, we are where we are. We've got an E. You can see what I mean about the obstructions, the A and the R. They might be in the word, they might not be. We just don't know. But what we do know is that because I'm not on hard mode, I don't have to reuse the E. So I am going to use the A and the R on the next guess, I think. Um, let's just see if it's Randy today, because let me try the D and the Y, which are pretty good letters. And the D has paid off. Now we're going to need to try yet another vowel. We'll try the I or the O on this guess, I think. Let's see if we can liven things up by testing the L, I and N. Oh, we've got the I and the N. That was a great guess. And the N is in the right position. I was getting worried there because we have the E, D and I all in yellow. But finally we've got something in the correct place. So there probably is only one option left at this point, isn't there? Given that the E and the D cannot be fourth. Deign? Do I deign to go for it on this guess? I think I do. That is not the most obvious of words. It's got quite common letters but not in an obvious um, order. I before E except after C, for example, but not in this word and not in hundreds of other words, probably. Um, so really happy to get that in for one of my better performances, as you can see. And that starts another streak after yesterday's awful failure. That is the Spotle Puzzle. Let me know how you got on. Thank you for watching and bye for now.